All right, Rich's Method, back at it again, man. Yo, I'm telling you something, man. It's a sewer, it's a sewer. I think there might possibly be no place on the earth similar to Sasua Beach, Dominican Republic. Now, that's no cap, man. It's just a, a certain kind of energy that's just different here. Now, I know at the end of the day, there's a couple of places in the world that are similar, right? Like everybody know you got Pattaya, Thailand, you got Bangkok, Thailand, you got a couple of spots in the Philippines, you got Amsterdam that carries its own kind of uniqueness with some similarities. But there's something about this little five, six block radius of Sasua Beach in Sasua Municipality that's just unique of its own, man. And a lot of that really and truly is a no cameras wanted part of this. Now I'm thinking and I'm pausing because of course, you know, the platforms that I'm on, yeah, you know, you understand how it is, all right? However, man, today I'm gonna discuss that a little bit. But before we get into it, Rich's method back at it again. Don't forget to like, share, comment. Big up to anybody who dropped the Cash App at Rich's Method or PayPal info at domicilehub.com. Big up to anybody who has purchased the ebook at payhip.com slash Rich's Method. I'm usually in my community post if you're a subscriber. I'm dropping the big ups to you who have purchased. So that's how I'm going to announce those from now on. Anybody who do the Cash App or the PayPal, then you get a, you know, a name shout out on the video. Now, in addition to the name shout out, anyone who does a Cash App or PayPal for $50 or above gets to ask me any travel, dating, safety, and whatever general questions for 15 days. So let's go. I'm trying to do Instagram, Instagram, two, Instagram, okay, four, three. Oh, no, no, bien, mami, que tengo chichos. Que es chichos. Oh, no. Oh, no, chichos. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> es placa. Gracias. Tiene hijo. No. Gracias. I know a lot of you guys, you know, you guys binge watch videos from Sasua. And you're unfortunately not in the position right now to grab your passport for whatever reasons, family, work, background situations. You know, and hey man, it's a good time, right? You watch all the videos, you see all the really good looking women, you see all the little parties. And yes, it is a good time. What you guys don't see though is the fact that, you know, a lot of times, man, the truth is, those women that you see, the reason why the cameras are mostly like on the ground or it looks very low or it's at a weird angle is because, yo, a lot of the women don't want to be on camera, right? Let's just call it what it is. So what's happening there is that, you know, um, I'm going to cover this from several different angles. First, let me talk about the local people, right? A lot of local girls, you know, they're just, they're just trying to do their thing. They're trying to have some fun. But the truth is this island is not all the same. All Dominican people are not the same. Not all Dominican people are proud of um, Sasua, right? So they do talk. They do talk about each other. They do talk about, hey, is she a good woman? Is she a bad woman? So to dispel that rumor, you know, I had a guy just comment on the channel. And he was like, yo, they all the same. They're a bunch of, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I've, I've heard that even when I was here for over two years. Um, so it comes with a reputation. All right. Then this, this, this little area was actually formed back in the day by Jewish people who were actually escaping, uh, you know, Hitler's bs back in the day and racism and they originally settled in this tiny town made it their own did a lot of development at that time so this town has been wrong for a very long time it's accepted you know foreigners for a very long time and then it just kind of grew great beaches tiny town there are some people who knew the heyday of Sasua back in the day who think you know what these changes that has happened is because cameras social media guys like me I've exposed it to the world, right? Um, listen, I got no dog in the fight on that one. All I'm going to say is this. Which one comes first, the chicken or the egg? You know, at the end of the day, in society, there is development, right? Look at Punta Cana. It's booming. Now, at the end of the day, the things that happen in Punta Cana also happen in Susua. It also happens all throughout the island in Zona Colonial of Santo Domingo, etc., right? The level of how it is and the difference of how it is just comes along with differences in places, in my opinion. 
For example, you got Amsterdam, got its own vibe. You got Bangkok, you got Pattaya. These places all got its own vibe, right? Similarities, but differences. Now, the other flip side of that is people then say, you know, the local people, they need help, they need this, they need that. And you got to say to yourself, wait a minute, man. Um, that's what makes it boom. When you got a bunch of guys, similar to yourself, who are sitting at home and you said, man, you know what? I really want to go that place. And then you do. I was walking through Flip Flops the other day, which is a bar right near the beach with the yellow steps. And there was a dude who walked in there, yaks for the guy who runs the place. And the girl was like welcoming him and everything. And then he said, yo, man, nah, nah, you know, I, I just, I saw this thing on TV and I really just wanted to see it. This is my first time here. It was him and like two of his boys. They were really excited. It looked like they were ready for a good time and they were indeed having a good time. And I mean, listen, what does that bring to the economy? See what I mean? It brings good fun to the people who visit. It brings in money for the locals who... This American guy who runs Flip Flops Bar um, and Restaurant actually employs, right? It spreads out to, uh, the economy from when you need the motor control, motorbike driver, the taxi driver, the excursions, the everything else. Now, on the flip side, some of the foreigners who complain, mostly are old heads, you know, old cats who've been coming here 20 years. They feel like, oh man, things have changed. I personally say, listen, change is a constant in life. No matter where you are, it's never been the same. I'm now in my middle ages, let's put it that way, and I know for a fact that change has happened. There's no place I knew that's going to be the same now. Hell, I could go back to Brooklyn right now. Certain things might look the same, but I guarantee the people are different. The environment is different. A few stores going to be different. It's going to be different. I can't live my life in the past, right? Anyway, comment what you guys think below about that one. But yeah, the old cats, they'll complain and say, man, you know, it's ruined, it's this, it's that. They're living in the past, right? You got to live for now. You got to take what it is or you got to move on. And that, that comes with anything in life, in my personal opinion. All right, so the flip side of this also is this. A lot of these same old cats, though, they actually own businesses here. Yeah. You know, a lot of them will own like restaurants, they'll own bars, or they own uh, apartments, they own Airbnbs. Right now, the, the Airbnb I'm staying in is actually owned by an American dude. And my question to these people would be, yo, you're benefiting off the economy of this. So why are you complaining? <laughs> Don't you understand that this made your prices on your real estate go up? It's keeping your Airbnbs full. It's keeping the money in your pockets to be able to afford your same fun that you don't want caught on cameras, right? With the beauties that you see around you, the beaches, the people who go to those places, etc. All right, so there is some negatives, obviously, that come with the reputation of the city. But the reputation of the city, or the little small tiny town, I should say, not city, has already existed, man. Um, you know, for the, for the people who are locals here... I can tell you personally, because I've had relationships here outside of Sasua in Porta Plata, where honestly, even my girl, I don't, I, I, I'm like, yeah, you ain't coming out here. I, I brought her out here once ever to the beach with me. Now, at this point, I've got a kid in the DR, and I'm like, yeah, nah, you ain't coming out here. I don't even want people to think you're this type of woman. But what, what's even more importantly, that comes from her first. When she thinks about it, she's like, yeah, I mean, you know, I miss you. I'm going to come over there. Oh, you got a pool where you stay? All right, listen. And then she's like, yeah, but no, no, no. Even when I come and I visit a, a family member that I have in that area, I worry about it. Even when I got to go to the hospital. And I'm like, damn, why? She's like, yeah, man, people talk. And I don't even want to be looked at in that light. I'm like, yeah, but, you know, you dress different and everything. She's like, mm-hmm. I see the other girls waiting for the taxi or the guagua, which is like their little minibus to get out there. And I already like, hmm, she's that kind of woman. So she don't even want to be looked at as that kind of woman also, right? So you guys got to understand, man, it's very complex. There are women who, who work over here and then um, at regular restaurants and stuff like that. They'll make sure that when they're walking down the street, they got their uniforms on, right? They still got their job t-shirt on from the restaurant or whatever. Because sometimes it is known that, you know, the um the law enforcement over here doing their thing they'll try to just grab up a girl because she's just walking that main road right 
So <laughs> I heard the incident about an employee who had to call the boss and was like, yo, today, you know, they grabbed me up thinking I was just out here. So it happens, fellas. It's a complex thing. It's definitely fun for the weekend warriors who come in. You guys will have a great time. Um, that's what the city is kind of known for. But we also tend to forget there is another part of this place. Like where I am right now, man, it's just a couple blocks over. It's considered what they call El Bate. Um, still really in Sazua. You know, it's kind of like if you're in West Palm Beach, right? If you're in West Palm Beach, there's actually several little towns. But everybody just refers to it as West Palm or West Palm Beach. Because one little tiny city has their name and the general area, which includes several lot of different town names, I just call that. Same with Fort Lauderdale, right? You got Hollywood, you got Hollywood Beach, you got Deerfield Beach. But generally when people refer to that in Florida, they just say Fort Lauderdale. But Fort Lauderdale is actually a little town as part of a county, right? So Susu is kind of like that too. So here you have it, fellas. Tell me what you think. Comment down below. Uh, be sure to go ahead and grab my ebooks. I uh, appreciate anybody who dropped the Cash App, and I'll check you guys on the next one.